Controlled gates are an important part of many algorithms, especially the quantum Fourier transform. The circuit diagram of a controlled gate is this. There are two input bits, the control bit and the target bit. The gate is a 2x2 matrix U with entries U00, U01, U10, and U11. You can imagine the control bit as a machine controller and the gate as a machine. If the control bit is 0, the machine is off and the target bit passes through the machine without change. If the control bit is 1, the machine is turned on and the target bit has matrix U performed on it. When the gate acts on a known qubit value, it changes it based on U. Let's see how the control gate acts on 1, 0 and 1, 1. We can write this as a matrix transformation. If we input 0, 0, we want 0, 0 out. If we input 0, 1, we want 0, 1 out. For input 1, 0, we want to add u0, 0, 0 to the 1, 0 output and u1, 0 to the 1, 1 output. Similarly, for input 1, 1, we want to add u01 to the 10 output and u11 to the 11 output. For any vector input, this matrix transformation represents the vector output. Thank you for listening to me, counting to three. I hope you learned something new, and I hope to see you in another video.